Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our sixth tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have just discussed about pivot or unpivoting the columns. So in this class, we will discuss more feature about Power Query Editor, which are more interesting and really useful. So I have already uploaded one table guys. So let's go to the Power Query Editor. So here is the table guys. And firstly, I'm going to talk about conditional column, which is very much similar function like if formula in Excel. So I'll tell you how it works. So let's start the practical. Firstly, I'll go to the add column section and click condition column. Then you guys can see new box has pop up. Now we have to fill all the information which is required. In new column, we have to enter the new column name like let's say rating. And select the column name which you want to put condition on the basis of that column. So I'll select here quantity. Now you need to select operators. So you can select the operators accordingly, like equals is greater than less than. So I'll select here equals. Now we need to enter the value. Let's say I'll enter 10. And the output would be good. Else it's bad. So I'll make you understand what I have put here. So if our quantity is equal to 10, then it's good. If less than 10, it's bad. So I'll click here. OK. Once I click it, a new column has added, which name is rating. And you guys can see we have put the condition. If quantity is less than 10, it's bad. More than 10, it's good. So here is the only one thing which is more than 10. It's good and all are bad. So in this way, you can add multiple condition with the help of conditional column. Now we will move to the another feature which is custom column. And this is really important feature of Power Query Editor. So let's click to the custom column. Firstly, I'll tell you what, what is the use of custom column. Custom column is basically used for performing the calculations like in Excel. So let's say we need to calculate revenue. So we need to multiply price into quantity. So firstly, we have to select new column. Like my new column name is revenue because we need to calculate revenue. And now we have to select both the column. My first column name is price. You need to double click on price and you need to put multiply sign here. Price into quantity. You need to double click on quantity. Once you click it, then you need to put OK. Now you guys can see new column has added with correct output. So in this way, we can perform any calculation with the help of conditional column. Now we will move to another feature, which is invoke custom column. Invoke function is also useful for performing calculation, but you have to create own function first. And after that, you can perform the calculation. So let's start the practical guides for better understanding. So go to the home tab and click new source. And here is the option guys, which is blank query. So you need to click blank query. And here, let's say we need to calculate price minus cost. So how do we calculate? So firstly, we need to define variables. So I'm writing my variable first here. Let's put equal to and start brackets. So we need to calculate price minus cost. So I'll put price as a number, comma, cost as number. Now you need to enter equal to sign and greater than sign. And you simply need to enter your calculation, which you want to perform, which is price minus cost. Price minus cost. Now you need to press enter. Once you enter the new dialog box has pop up. So you have to ignore this and go to the product section. Now we have created a variable which is price minus cost. So once you go to the add column and select invoke custom column. So here it's asking for a new column name. I'll write here sales. 
and the function query name is query1 which is you can see here guys now you have to select price column and the second column which you have select cost column first you need to select column name then you need to select column name which is cost now you click ok now you guys can see new column has added with calculations that is sales so you can also perform same calculations here in formula bar now we will discuss index column index column is nothing but just used for giving sequence to our data i'll show you how so first i remove this sequence number column now i'll show you how index column works so you just go to the add column bar and click this drop down so it's asking about from where you need to start sequence from 0 or 1 so here i would select from 1 once you click it you guys can see we have a new column guys with sequence and you can also move this column to the beginning so you need to just right click over here and move to beginning the last topic of our today class is duplicate column so you can duplicate any column with the help of duplicate column like we want to duplicate this column which is product so select product column and click duplicate so you guys can see duplicate column has added this is the product name and this is the duplicate column so in this way you can duplicate any column on the basis of your requirement i hope you guys have learned many things from this video and i will also cover more interesting feature of power query editor so please stay tuned with us and kindly subscribe this channel and share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch you guys can create own practice file for making more practice. It will only take 2 minutes. Later on I will provide file links because they are relatable files from customer file. Meanwhile you guys can make own file for practice. So thank you so much guys for watching this series. And please support our channel. Thank you so much guys.